Hey everybody, it's Jason Baha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about uh, combining exercises together. And something I've tried to point out to people is that, uh, you know, we pretty much know at this point uh, in the lifting world that combining a couple exercises together for any given muscle uh, probably produces better muscle growth. Um, again, the science is a long way from complete when it comes to lifting and exercise science. But anecdotally, we've always observed this to be the case. Uh, and then in the lab, they're kind of finding it to be the case too. So it's one of those things where we, we pretty much largely agree on. Uh, that, you know, you're not going to maximize your, your muscle off of a single exercise other than maybe something, maybe something like the bicep. Okay, a very, very simple, very simple muscle. Uh, but an example of, let's say we're trying to build our pressing muscles, our chest, our triceps, and to a large extent, even, even our delts. Uh, because this will actually handle a lot of your delt development, uh, believe it or not, this combination. And so an example of combining exercises, uh, you just got to look at muscle function. You can look at uh, what the different muscles do. And take the bench press, for example. Great all around upper body builder, right? It works the entire chest, top to bottom, if performed correctly, right? Again, notice I'm performing it in a way here to maximize chest recruitment. It builds the triceps, uh, demonstrated repeatedly in the lab, although it does bias different parts of the muscle. Okay? It tends to neglect the long head of the tricep, and that's that's been pretty well observed. Right? But as far as the other two heads of the tricep, it builds them very, very effectively, along with the whole chest. All right, so some things that you can combine with it, like into one workout, if you wanted to, say, do the, the minimal number of exercises to really work everything thoroughly, okay? I think this trifecta works, All right? You can do a extension. I like the laying extension done, done behind the head. Now, if your shoulders and everything allow for it, you can certainly do seated or standing behind the head extensions with a dumbbell or a bar, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue against that. That's perfectly, perfectly good exercise. Uh, not everyone's shoulders allow for it, uh, particularly us, us masters lifters. But this replicates much of the same effect. All right, what do we get here when we do one of these laying like this? Well, I'm glad that you asked. It works all three heads of the tricep, okay? We also get some of the benefits of the pullover, which you guys will see me adding near the end, all right? We stretch the long head, so we catch up that long head development that's being missed on the bench. That's that big horseshoe on the back, right? The inside of the tricep, which I'm lacking, as you guys can see here, which is why I do so much long head work now, because it's lacking for me. Uh, but yes, that one. <laughs> it also gives some of the benefits of the pullover. There's there's actual delt involvement in that. Okay, even the rear delt gets worked a little bit on that extension. And we combine that with some pull-ups, and we're pretty well done, aren't we? All this. All right, but it works all of those. And you take the pullover. Phenomenal. And there's different ways to perform the pullover, just like there's different ways to do a tricep extension. We can do dumbbells, plates, barbells, we do them cross bench. We can do them straight arm, we can do them bent arm. In this case, I'm doing straight arm uh, because of the deeper stretch that it forces in some areas. Okay. Uh, but bent arm is a valid exercise too. But the straight arm puts a little more emphasis on, say, the pecs and stuff than, than the lats. Okay. But look at what we're doing here. We're putting the pecs into a lengthened position at a different angle. Right? Notice that lengthened position. There's a lot of carryover to that and what we might get out of like an incline bench. And by the way, I like the incline bench. It's just that if we're trying to minimize training stuff, we can't always work it in. I think the incline bench is a fantastic exercise for the record. I'm a big fan of it. I like it. But for our purposes here, pull over. All right, puts that stretch on the pectorals. Again, we are now working the pecs from two different angles that have a deep stretch at a completely different position. 
All right, that's money. Like if you're really trying to bring a muscle up, that is money. You know, and the bench is a big heavy movement and then the pullover is a little more of a finesse movement, right? That's a great combination. If you're trying to, to really, really build a muscle, we, that works great to combine a big, big movement that works through a long range of motion that we can load real heavy and then having a finesse movement to finish it up. You know, just like a lot of guys out there like a, a bench and a fly. But in this case, I'm trying to get extra benefits that you wouldn't get from a fly. All right, I'm trying to add some other muscles. These are all movements that work multiple muscles. All of these work, all the muscles we're describing. All right, long head of the tricep. It stretches it. Notice it stretches it more than even we're going to get a little bit more out of that extension. We're putting it into a deep stretch at a disadvantaged position. All right, that really really stretches out. In fact, if you've never done these and you do them like that for the first time, I've had people say, I've tried to do these straight arm like you demonstrated and it felt like it was literally tearing my long head of my tricep. I, I couldn't even stand it. Okay. Think about that for a minute. That is a phenomenal training stimulus that you felt the tricep stretching so much that it almost felt like it was going to tear. So we are really, really loading that muscle hard. In addition to the pec stretch, the lats, all the shoulder. All right, even your rear delts get worked on that pullover. So what do we have here? We got two exercises that really hammer the chest from two different angles. Because because the extension, not to, to a great extent. Okay. Really, we're getting some stimulus to all three heads of the delt between all of this. But we're hammering the chest from those two angles. All three exercises work the triceps. One of them is extremely biased towards the lateral and medial head, the bench. The pullover really only works the long head. It does not work the others, really. But that long head gets hammered. And then that other extension works all three heads very balanced. You start looking at it, this combination, really, these three exercises combined together, taken up to whatever your volume that you can tolerate and handle is, works. All of these muscles could get maximum development from this combination. And this is what I mean by, you know, just combine exercise together. Look at what they are doing, right? Look, what are the functions of the muscle? What can I do to get in and work it really hard from a couple of different angles? Right? This is a winning combination. Uh, because these are muscles that a lot of guys really want to develop. Pecs and triceps? Come on. All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I'll talk to you guys next time.